Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm over here in my hotel room, been traveling this week, didn't get to do a live stream on Thursday. So I wanted to just share some thoughts with you as I've been praying today, sitting here in my hotel room, getting some work done. One of the amazing things about life is that it has this amazing ability to never be perfect. And what I mean by that is, you guys know from your own experiences, it seems like once one problem gets solved and you're moving on and you're finally free from that, well, now there's another problem or maybe two or three more problems ready to just jump up and take its place. So you move on from one situation, but it always seems like we're in this perpetual state of wishing life could be perfect, wishing this problem could be solved, wishing finally all our problems could be solved, but we never really get there. And if we do ever feel like we finally get there, it only seems to last for just a few hours or a day or a week at the most. And then all of a sudden we're facing new challenges and new troubles. So what is the reason for this? Why doesn't God ever just reach down and just say, hey, I'm going to fix everything? Well, we have to remember that we are spiritual creatures and we are here in the flesh in a fallen world. And no matter how perfect we wish life was, our ultimate destination is never intended to be in this life. So when we're going through pains, when there's those little things that are just, you know, those problems that nag at us, the, the purpose in it and the intention of that is there's supposed to be constant reminders to always keep, help us to keep in perspective that eventually we're going to pass from this life. Eventually this body is going to return to the dust from which God created it and our spirit is going to go on to our final resting place. Would it not be for the problems and pains that we experience on a day-to-day -day basis? I don't know about you, but I'd probably just get too comfortable. I probably wouldn't have that motivation to seek God and to be reminded, hey, this world is not my home. But when I go through those things, they're intended to point me because, hey, okay, we got one problem. God helped us through that situation. But now there's another situation that we got to deal with. Well, hey, that's just a reminder. No matter how many trials that God brings me through, no matter how many things he delivers me from, ultimately, this world is never intended to be our home. So what it's supposed to do is push us towards that constant reminder, you know? So let the problems that you're going through put a smile on your face. I know that sounds backwards. I know that sounds um, maybe a little bit too optimistic for some of you, but I'm not just talking about positive thinking. I'm talking about being reminded of the true reality that you are headed for a home that is not of this world. And let those pain points, let those problems that you deal with on a day-to-day -day basis, just put a smile on your face as you are reminded, hey, God's already taken me through a lot of things. I know I'm going through things right now, but these are intended to remind me to keep my eyes upon a heavenly prize, which is the Lord Jesus himself. I am moving onward to be where he is. So if you're not comfortable, guess what? We're not always supposed to be comfortable. There's seasons where we go through times where we are comfortable and we get reprieved from situations that we're going through. But again, ultimately, everything in this life is just temporary and it's supposed to point us on towards our heavenly goal. Jesus said, the spirit is willing but the flesh is weak. He was talking to his disciples who couldn't pray with him just for one hour because their flesh was weak. Their flesh was wanting to be comforted. Their flesh was wanting rest. Their flesh was wanting to be satisfied from the pain that they were experiencing. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. So in our walk with God too, we have to be reminded there's a spirit that we have that's inside of us that hungers for the things of God. The spirit is willing. The spirit is desiring of the things of God. But what's the obstacle towards obtaining the promises of God? Well, it's the flesh. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. So I look at those problems that I deal with and the, the trials that, that, come, that keep coming up. I look at it as reminders of the weakness of the flesh that I'm currently in. And I use that as motivation. Hey, I've got to let the spirit reign inside of me. I've got to put this flesh to death because it's, life is never going to be perfect. What my flesh wants is never ultimately going to, um, going to come to fruition. My flesh is always going to want more and more and, and want things to be perfect. But the spirit is willing. Let the spirit seek for Jesus in a heavenly way. Let the spirit um, reign in, in, inside of me. The spirit of God that he's put praying through my spirit. Let it push me towards greater things, things that I cannot see with my natural eye, depending upon things that I cannot see in the flesh, but it's going to push me to let the spirit have free reign in my life. 
The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. So let, again, let everything that you're going through, let it be a reminder to point you to allow the spirit that God has put inside of you to have triumph and victory over the flesh. And that'll get you through to, to, to start seeing your problems as not just um, things that, that, oh God, just resolve this as quickly as possible and let me not have to deal with any more pain anymore. But just instead see it as, God, let this point me to you. All right, let this be another reminder that this world is not my home so that I can seek you, not just an answer for my problem because I'm gonna have more problems down the road, but let my problem be a, 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 a way, a sign, um, a way marker that points me, hey, the flesh is weak, but the spirit is willing. I've gotta get past these things that I just see in the flesh, which are here today and gone tomorrow. And I've got to let the spirit that God has put in me reach for a higher goal and a higher purpose. Get a hold of the Lord Jesus Christ and let the problems that you're dealing with be signs that point you into a deeper relationship with him. That's my encouragement for you today. Hope this is a blessing for you. God bless everybody in Jesus' name.